Good evening, everyone. There are new details tonight in the death investigation of a four-month-old boy. The child's father is now in police custody, charged with neglect. Ryan Smith is live tonight outside police headquarters. And Ryan, you've learned that he could face more charges. That's right. Police here in downtown Des Moines tell me that pending an autopsy result, a four-month-old Gabriel, his father, a 17-year-old, well, he could be on the hook for much more serious charges in his own son's death. The police report details a night sure to disgust any parent. According to police, four-month-old Gabriel King McFarlane was left home alone inside this south side apartment complex. There is never an agenda any more important than taking care of your child. According to police, the child's father, 17-year-old Drew James Wheeler Smith, came over around 7.30 to care for the child while his mother ran an errand. 8.20 p.m., not even an hour later, Gabriel's mother finds her son unresponsive in his glider chair. White foam around his mouth. Wheeler Smith is nowhere to be found. We definitely had um, not even an hour's worth of care with someone who doesn't live with the baby. Um, it seems um, it's troubling, it's real troubling. KCCI has learned the tragedy hits close to home for a local family in Ankeny. These pictures of baby Gabriel were sent to us by the McFarland family. Heidi McFarland tells me her and her partner took Gabriel home from the hospital, the first step in what they had hoped would be a smooth adoption process. The couple says they were forced, though, to return Gabriel back to his birth mother just days prior to signing the final adoption papers. But after seeing last night's report, the McFarlands learned their journey to adopt baby Gabriel has come to a devastating end. The McFarlands were not able to go on camera and talk to us tonight, but say that they do want their story shared. So the family sent me this statement. It reads in part, It took about 30 seconds to fall in love with him. Heidi and Rachel were the perfect parents, and any love, happiness, and security that Gabe had in his short life was given by them. Quote, they would have treasured him forever. Ryan Smith, thank you.